I'm just gonna jump right into it. It is 11.52 p.m. right now. And I am going to be on a train in about eight hours. I would like to do my hair. I would like to pack and I would like to get on the train on time. So I'm gonna bring you guys along with me. I hope I make it. I think I will. I'm just trying to think, should I do my hair first or should I do the packing first? Maybe pack, cause I know I can get that done like quickly, I hope. First thing I did was pop in my earphones so I can listen to my audiobook while I started packing. And as you can see, I'm unpacking my large suitcase that I used to move to Vietnam, which has not been unpacked, and put it into my backpack because that's what I'm taking for the weekend. And I'll worry about that suitcase when I get back. I've pretty much packed my bag. It's only for four days. I still need to put like my toiletries and stuff in there, but I just have four basic outfits, nothing too fancy. I only have like 20 minutes left of my audiobook so i don't even know how to feel but i'm gonna get started on my hair because i can do my uh toiletries in the morning but i'm gonna start on my hair for real now so this is actually the style that i'm thinking of doing um i saw a couple of girls do it on tiktok and i'm like it's actually quite cute uh i think i'll just undo the front halves and then work with that for now thank goodness my hair is already washed and detangled but yeah i'm gonna check back in after i get started i must have slept weird because my shoulder hurts it feels crazy oh okay I had to review what the video looked like of the girl doing her hair in this style before I started just so I could have the vision fresh in my mind. Okay, so it's 12.44. It's one of my lucky numbers. I'm gonna get started on my hair and I'll check back in. Now this little hairstyle gave me a run for my money. I thought it was gonna be a lot more easy than it was, but it's because my hair was a lot less detangled than I thought it was because the machete hairs are very sneaky. But once I started doing it, I was like, you know, just put your mind to it. Were my parts crooked? Yes. Was my hair a little dry? Also, yes, but that's neither here nor or there because I was gonna get it done and I don't know how to explain this but I was doing like a Dutch braid rather than a French braid where the braid like goes in instead of going out and I don't actually know the difference between a Dutch and a French braid like I can't really remember which one is which but you guys know what I'm talking about it's not giving then the middle braid was actually so chunky I was like annoyed once I got to the end of it but I just like had to keep on going because I'm not going back at this point point. and surprisingly my last braid was actually pretty nice it was exactly what I thought it was gonna be and I was very pleased with that I I am finishing my last braid that I'm doing for the front. Is it my best work? No, but it's the best that I can do tonight. Um, it's 1 23 1 a.m. I think I'll do the back later. Maybe not at all. Who knows? But at least I have this part done and I can relax, go to bed get some sleep 124 is actually not that bad of a bedtime that's probably when i usually be going to bed anyway probably even later i finished my last audiobook it was very cute very very cute i've started a new one it's a little novel audiobook and i didn't expect it to be a british person doing the reading so it was a little off-putting at first but I'm just gonna keep on going. It's not bad. It's pretty interesting so far. Very interesting character introduction so far. Um, but yeah, so I'm really glad to be done with this. I'm gonna tie my hair up and go to sleep. And then I'll see you guys in the morning. I'm like laughing because I have to wake up in four hours. Yeah. I literally have an alarm in my phone for every single time, I promise. From like midnight all the way until 11 p.m. Like, it's crazy. Like, why do I have so many alarms? But anyways, I woke up, rise and shine bright and early. And I took my scarf off and I hate that flat look when you take your scarf off and everything is just like flat. I'm like, come on, girl, let's give some dimension. In the then we headed out the house by 5.45. The roosters were crowing, cock-a-doodle-doing. 
and then we got into our car and headed to the train station the drive over to the train station is actually so beautiful in the morning because there's like no cars no motorbikes on the road not no motorbikes on the road but a lot less and it's just so beautiful the sun is still rising a little bit it's just really calm and peaceful nobody's in the train station it's 6 11 in the morning we're always the first people at the train station for our train wherever our time is because they know to roll up minutes before the train comes our train is at 6 55 so we need like a 40 minute wait yep that's it Look at the doggies outside playing. Ew. They have to like unlock the door to let us out when the train is on its way. And now I guess we're just waiting for the train. We're basically on the track. But I'm, se I'm seated, so that's nice. I don't know which direction it's coming from. I think it's coming from this direction. But who knows. So now we just wait. It is a bit delayed, but did we expect it to be on time? Not really. Not really. Since I only got like four hours of sleep, I definitely had to sleep the majority of this train ride, but I definitely woke up for some banh mi's and like some of the food that they were passing out, not passing out, you had to pay for it, but that they came down the aisles with. And that's probably my favorite part of riding the train is that like you get the food service, they have drinks as well. Bon appetit. And then when you're riding by, you also will see lots of graveyards along the way. And they're like really beautiful, like intricate graveyards. They aren't just like your regular gravestones. And I think that they're so nice. And I really would like to visit one one day, but like maybe that'll be weird. Then eventually we heard the announcement for our stop. So we decided to get ready and like they start playing music, I guess, to wake people up. But like, I don't know what the song is saying, but then eventually the lady does an announcement for Da Nang and it's time for us to get going. the music playing out of the train. So my mom and I did have a car set up waiting for us. So that was really nice. So we just hopped in our car and we were on our way. Where are we going? Look, look at the train. Hmm? Haven't been in Danang in like a year. Huh? Haven't been to Danang in like a year. 
And Da Nang is about a 45, 50 minute drive away from Hoi An, which is where we're going. And it was a pretty smooth ride because it was still only like noon today. So there wasn't super heavy traffic or anything. And the weather was nice, which is really important because during rainy season, it gets crazy up in here. Chicken. Come on, thank you. Are these warm? Oh, they're cold. It smells good. Like lemon grass. I also want to mention that this welcome tea that they gave at this hotel was actually so good. I was like, girl, what are the ingredients? Because I'm not going to make it, but I'm going to try and find it somewhere else. Let me go into the bathroom. VIP. And then, of course, you can see into the room <laughs> from the bath. I actually. My mom is scared to ride these bikes. I. Well, we should ride it. We should ride it like, like kind of now, so we can find where we're going in the daytime. In the nighttime. Find in, in the daytime, like, like find it now in the daytime so we can yeah. know where it is. Yeah, and how far. She said it's a 20 minute walk, that's not bad either. I know, I'm just saying, but when the sun goes down, it'll be fine. Experience crab fishing by boy in crab fishing. Crab fishing. You would get to eat Learn crabs. To use simple fishing tools to catch crabs and fish. <laughs> Engage in a friendly competition to see who catch the most crabs. Enjoy a delicious. Yeah, we should do this. Okay, but tomorrow. here's my question: Do we get to eat crab? Of course. Yum. Visit the vegetable village. Oh, that's what you was talking about. There's a pottery village, and then there's a vegetable and village. And visit the pottery village and learn about the art of pottery. How much is that to one, one million two hundred. So per person. Forty dollars. Mm -hmm. And it's all day. Uh, five to six hours. So we would probably do this day. tomorrow. What you think? Yeah, sure. Basketball ride, personal expenses, insurance. Oh, I gotta pay for my insurance. Oh my God, Carla, you is tripping. Literally. I didn't want to be the one to say that. <laughs> they said insurance. I'm like, insurance? Where am I? You uh, like that word sounds so way. familiar. <laughs> Sheesh. She, my knees. Where's my phone? Got to be more careful. Oh, for when you're abroad, make sure you use my code. Oh. Use my safety wing code for your travel insurance. Hmm. That's all I need for me to chip my finger. You already done twisted your ankle in Australia. You know that. Okay, my hair looks kind of cute. A little moose did a lot, but who knows what it's gonna look like when it once I go outside. I think I'm gonna change out of this outfit because I feel like it's a bit toasty. I don't know what it is about the mosquitoes that like me. Like my mom never gets bitten, but they tear me up. They love a good bite of Janine and I hate it, quite frankly. And I can tell the minute my bug spray wears off because they just start attacking me. So when my mom and I first left the hotel, we headed out and we went straight to Old Town. I guess it wasn't time for everybody to be out and about because it was pretty barren and it doesn't look like this at all at nighttime. But we wanted to get something to eat, so we went to a place that had gaolo. I'm excited to eat. And when I say this gaolo was okay, it was okay. It wasn't the best that I ever had. The best that I ever had was at this hostel in Da Nang and it was just so good. And so I really had high hopes because this region is known for gaolo, like you can't really find it everywhere in Vietnam. It was okay here. I have to find a better restaurant that has some better kaolo, but you know, it's only day one. I'm hungry and I'm gonna eat it anyway. So what am I complaining about? As you're walking through Old Town or the Ancient Town, you can see lots of shopping stuff and the prices were not bad at all, especially for a touristy area. I thought it was gonna be crazy expensive. I just had a little bubble, like bubble, bubble tea, bubble. 
think it was bubble tea. It might have just been like something like this. Bubble tea. But my mom was on Google and she found that there was this lantern lady where you can make your own lantern. It was so cute and so fun. You get to pick out your own fabric. And so I picked out this green silky fabric and this yellow fabric to go with the accent colors. And then there's like a man who makes the frame of the lantern for you. Like he like made it before our eyes. I was like, whoa, this is really crazy. Then the lady comes and shows you one-on-one -on -one how to put the fabric on properly once you put the glue on. And she gave you step-by-step -step instructions and she just made sure you were doing everything right, which was very helpful. And not to toot my own horn, but she kept coming by and she she was like no notes like you're literally a professional have you done handicraft like in your regular job because you're so good this is a difficult fabric to work with and you're working with it so well like no notes and i was like thank you queen no i don't do handicraft but like i'm a crafty girly and also i have an eye for detail so let's start there and this lantern making class was such a fun activity it wasn't super expensive you got a keepsake to take with you and it was like i learned a new skill as well and it just was like a calm activity to do and i just highly recommend it so definitely go to the lantern lady if you are in hoi an okay john I'm filming, I'm video. As you can see, this other lady is helping my mom with her lantern because her lantern was a little bit raggedy, I'm not gonna lie, but she got the job done. Like she did what needed to be done and it looks cute from afar and that's really all that matters. And I also forgot to mention that these lanterns are collapsible, which like makes it super convenient for you to put it in your bag or your backpack. It collapses to like the size of an umbrella, like the girth of an umbrella. And I was finishing mine up and I got to pick out a tassel. I went with a dark green tassel, but I think my lantern turned out so cute. I was so happy. Then my mom and I were looking for something to eat before we went on to the show that we had at the end of the night. And we got recommended this Thai restaurant, which was in walking distance of the Lantern Lady, like less than a five minute walk. And it was on the water and people were eating there. So it looked really nice. The food was okay. It wasn't my favorite Thai food I've ever had ever, but it did the job. It did what needed to be done in terms of like filling me up and having some flavor there. Like I definitely tore it up, I'm not gonna lie. But I tear up every single meal, but it may not be my favorite meal. Like I wouldn't be like, oh my God, this is the best Thai food in town. I don't know what the best Thai food in town is because I haven't eaten it yet. The weather is good. We're about to go to Hoi An Memories Land to go see the performance. So I'm really excited to see what they have to offer. Do we have to cross this big bridge? But maybe down there at the bottom is something. I don't know. But we're about to see. So this is a general note on Hoi An and the Old Town area. There will be a lot of walking that needs to be done. So definitely make sure you have some comfortable shoes. But when you're going to the memory land area for the show, or if you want to go see the theme park, you have to go up these stairs and then go across this really long bridge to cross the river. I don't know if there's any alternative ways to get to memory land, but this is the way that we were told to go and it didn't look like there were any other ways. But once you get there, you still have to walk through the theme park to get to the show area and it was quite a bit of a walk but once we got there the show was honestly so nice now i was not supposed to take any footage of the show because they said don't do it but when the people came by who like worked at the theater they were only stopping people that had their flash on because there were like people clearly recording they didn't say anything to them but when somebody had their flash on they told them to stop using flash so i was like you know let me just get a clip or two for the viewers okay But it actually was really nice and i'm so glad we went that pretty much wrapped up my first full day here in hoi an vietnam i had an amazing full day but i can't wait to share what else i'm going to get up to here in this city but definitely be sure to check out my instagram which is where i post my daily vlogs throughout the week but other than that feel free to like comment and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching see you guys next time